Hello everyone. Um, this is our second video of the Tableau series. Previously, we have discussed about few important techniques to arrange, sort and do various uh, functions over our data. So, if you haven't watched the previous video, I suggest you go through it once because there uh, I have covered some of the basic stuff that you should know before jumping onto the advanced part. Uh, understanding and doing Tableau is not at all difficult. Uh, but you know, uh, the, the problem comes where uh, you have the knowledge of what all it can do but you don't know where and when to apply so um, tableau actually it basically gives you a lot of power uh, lot of power with your data so uh, you can you can like completely modify the data according to the requirements that you have or according to what your company needs or according to what on the basis of what you need to you know make the decision to uh, maybe launch a particular product or see how the product is going or you know uh, see how a particular product is doing in a particular region so for that you need to have some basic understanding of what all features that are being offered to you so uh, in this video in this particular video along with covering the basic and advanced features of tableau we are also going to create a dashboard so as you can see on the screen we are going to create a product dashboard in tableau and uh, so what happens is you can best understand this particular uh, data analytics tool that we have when you actually apply it on a data set and that's what we are going to do today so without wasting any time let's buckle up and we are going to create one amazing dashboard so ready for it let's go all right so uh as i mentioned in the previous video we are we'll be using tableau desktop i have already installed on my system if you haven't installed it i suggest that you install it and and it would be great if you can, you know, uh, side by side uh, do what I am doing here with your data set. Uh, you can download any uh, data set from over the internet or if you have your own data set, well and good. All you need to do is just upload it here. You'll have an option to uh, upload text file, upload Excel, uh, use your uh, MySQL database or whatever database that you want to work upon. For now, I have cho chosen this particular Excel, Microsoft Excel sheet that I have called Amazing Mart. So within this particular sheet, I have these three sheets. You can see, uh, you can see the name of my Excel and you can see the sheets also within those. So now if you want to see the content of the sheet, you just need to click on it. Click on it and let us drag it here. So now if you see, okay, uh, this is actually for creating the... Uh, relationship between them we don't want that as of now I'll show you how you can build relationship also between uh, different you know between different sheets of your Excel so if you if you are if you know about SQL and uh, I'm sure you know about it as uh, we are into the data science field so like we have joins in sql like left join right join full join we have discussed all of this in the sql series uh if you like if you want to uh you know have a background of it please please uh go through that video i have explained everything in detail uh, starting from the basic to the advanced so we have a full video in joins as well although you wouldn't you know need a very technical concept here to understand the kind of joins that we are doing but 
if you're getting a knowledge why not to if you're getting knowledge why not to take it right so we have we have curated all this free content for you uh, wherein we have covered all the fields of data science everything that you need to uh, crack any of the job interviews that you want to sit in okay so okay okay coming back coming back to what we were doing so as i said we have all these sheets uh, within our excel that is list of orders order breakdown then we have sales target also so in the list of orders field we have all these fields with us that is order id order date customer name city country region segment and all these columns in the previous video we have discussed how we can sort these columns how we can see the first particular rows of some columns and how you can you know sort it according to ascending descending fields and all these things uh, renaming the columns also seeing the data types we have discussed all of this uh, in the previous video so if you haven't watched it just go through it once won't take much of your time but but you'll come back with so much more understanding of what we are going to do in this particular video all right so uh, before we move ahead i would also like to show you as i was talking about the relations and joins between various uh, excel sheets so you can either directly work upon a sheet or you can create you know relationships between various uh, sheets that you have so for example if i drag this down here can you see this relationship forming so you can just put this here And yeah, so what happens is to to um you know to link any of two sheets or to form a relationship between any of the two sheets, you need a common column. So uh, as I said, you if you have a basic understanding of join, if you remember in SQL, whenever we are joining tables there's a common basis on which you join the table that is the on on clause that we mentioned there so here also if you see the common or the common uh, category the call common attribute that we have in both these sheets is the order id so that is where it is going to link my two of these sheets so there are no other options so thus this is how our relationship is going to work between these two sheets and now if you'll see these uh now if you see we have the this particular sheet with us the order breakdown sheet and let me also try linking this uh with so you can link the sales target with the list of order sheets also you can list it with the order breakdown also i'll show you with both of them if i if i try to do it with list of orders you see that we won't we are not able to form a relationship because why not because there are no common fields between them if you see this is city country customer name order id and here we have category month and target so what is the common basis that i am joining this this sheet that is none that is why it is showing me an error here if you see so what i'll try to do is i'll try to link this with my order breakdown now when i am trying to link this with my order breakdown now we are getting a common uh you know common attribute that is category so this is basically helping me to form a relationship all right so this is what i wanted to show you that how you can list link various sheets together uh, and form a relationship you can do joins of various sheet you can do full join outer join and various other joins that you have all right also i would like to talk about this uh live and extract thing that you have here so we are going to cover uh everything that is on our screen but i'm not going to show you like a theory you know version of it we are going to work upon various data sets and side by side we are going to understand that what actually is going uh, in the particular data that we have so if you see here we have live and 
extract option so live basically means the connection live basically means that you are uh, currently working on it so the data set that you're currently working on you want to uh, make changes or modify or make visual representations on that but if extract basically means that you have already you know created your uh, sheet previously and you just want to extract it into this particular data set so as it says that import uh, import your data into Tableau's fast data engine. Extract is created when you click on Sheet tab. All right. So this was about the connections and joins and the relationship between various fields. Now let us let us dive in in creating our product dashboard as I promised that we are going to do together. And it is completely fine if you're absolutely beginner at this. We are going to do it step by step. And by the end of this video, you will be able to make your very own dashboards. All right. So now we are on the data source part here. To start creating your visual representation, you need to click on this sheet one that we have. So if you see, if you see this entire space, this is basically for your virtual representation of your data. And it could be in the form of various charts that we have. If you see, you can click on show me here and these are all the charts that you have. Also, they have mentioned, you know, some specific conditions for you to use those particular charts so for example if i'm using a if i want to use a line chart then uh it should have one date zero or more dimensions one or more measures so what are dimensions and measures although i have talked about it in the previous video let me just remind you once dimensions are basically the categories like the text categories i would say like you know the customer name you can say is dimension or you can say uh, region is dimension you can say category is dimension and measures are basically the number values that you have the calculations that you have for example discount profit quantity these are your measures all right so in this particular sheet that we have with us we are going to see category and subcategory wise sales of our products so if you see we have this table we have all these attributes with us right so i am going to create a visual representation of uh, category and subcategory wise sales of the products so this is where our representation will be shown these are the column and rows block wherein you'll be dragging these particular fields all right then we have your filters so filters are basically used to limit your data so for example that you you didn't you know want to see uh, the product sales for all the regions you just want to see the product sales for a particular region so that is where you add a filter and you can filter out your data you can filter out your content according to your requirement all right and this is the marks option where you can even filter by using color you can resize your uh, you know the chart that you'll create you can add text and do all these sort of things so I think we have covered almost the entire page that we have and as we move forward we'll be discovering more things side by side so as I said in this particular sheet that is our sheet number one we are going to see category and subcategory wise sales of our products all right so let us start if i want to see the sales what i'll do is let me find where is my sales so this is my sales uh, field sales attribute and i am going to drag this into my columns region all right and uh, for uh, this is like this data is not really helping me like it is not showing me anything as of now but now when I'll add the category and subcategory in my rows field, let us see how our data changes. So I'll add category here. 
so if you see we have three categories that is furniture office supplies and technology so now i have the sales of each category with me all right now we need for category and subcategory so i'm going to drag the subcategory here as well and voila we have our first chart with us which is showing me sales for categories and subcategories so if you can see we have the category furniture we have the subcategories that is bookcases chairs furnishing tables similarly we have for office supplies and similarly we have for technology and we have the sales for all of these particular categories you can you can click on any of this particular chart to see all the information now uh, i am not very happy with the color so let us try to change our color a bit what do you think about yellow i think i think this looks very uh flashy let's go with orange maybe i think this look like a lighter version of orange i think this looks good all right so this is what you can do uh, other than that now let us also try applying a filter here because you know as i mentioned to limit uh, your data you can use a filter so what you are going to do is let us uh, use a filter for category only so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this category into my filters region now as soon as you drag you get this prompt wherein it is asking that how do you want to modify your data so let me just show you if i drag this here if i uh, deselect furniture you can see okay i'll have to apply it actually to show you the changes that it will have so let us first select all of them and click on apply and click on ok and now to uh, see the filter on the screen you can just click on show filter all right you can click on show filter so you can see this filter here and now try you know deselecting and selecting the item so if i'm selecting all i can see for all the categories subcategories that we have so for example i want to see the sales just for my technology part so i can deselect furniture and office supplies and now i just have my technology sales all right so this is how you use your filter now now we have our four sheet ready with us right i don't think so we we want any changes here if you want you can edit this title and we can maybe uh, name it as uh what do you want to name it i think i want to name it as my category sales i think that is good we can maybe use the bold filter and i think the color black looks fine and just click on apply category sales and click on okay so this is our first sheet first chart that we have with us now now i suggest that instead of you know creating all your sheets together and then forming a dashboard let us side by side start building up our dashboard because dashboard is basically like you know uh putting putting bricks together and forming a wall so you can i don't know if it is a correct example but you know just it's like building blocks you know so let us just start forming our dashboard at the bottom if you see we have three options with us with the first icon you can make a new worksheet that we'll be doing in a while then with the second icon you can start a dashboard so i'll just click on it and see we have our dashboard number 1 here now if you see we have our sheet 1 visible and you can you can see the chart that we have within it and all you need to do is just drag the sheet onto your dashboard you can set the size also so it is it is set to desktop browser size for now i think let's go with the little smaller version maybe a small blog embedded or blog embedded whatever you like or the column one let us go with small blog embedded and if now uh if i now try to drop my sheet here now see it 
it has covered the entire space here so this is what you called as tiled and there's one another thing called called as floating so floating basically helps you to uh you know decide where and of what size you need to put that particular visual representation upon your dashboard so let me just remove this for you and now while you are dragging this particular uh, let me just increase the size first because now we are going to see the float version so what i am going to do is uh, i'm going to drag this particular sheet onto my space and side by side just click shift button on your keyboard and then see what happens so if i'm dragging this here and if i click shift so can you see it has itself turned into the floating version wherein you can just set the size according to you this is the category filter that we have i would like to place it at the corner here okay we have this with us and i'll just size according to me size it according to me right you can drag this accordingly and then we have our first chart that is our category sales now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this here uh i think the size this much size look good yeah now you can you can keep on changing the size according to the sheets that you are going to make further so for now let us have it like this right i think this looks pretty good right so this is our first chart with us we have our first we have a first chart in our dashboard okay now let us try creating another chart and for that we'll have to add a worksheet so just click on this new worksheet we have our sheet number two with us now in this particular sheet say that i want to see a quarterly target of the products right so i have my products with me i have the year i have the um uh, let me see where do i have the year um, yeah so I have month of order date with me so basically I have dates I have uh, the target also for that particular product so what I need to do is I need to see the quarterly target of the products that we have so as you must have guessed it already in the columns in the columns uh, block we are going to drag our month of order right here and in the rows we are going to add the target now see so this is how cool using tableau is it will uh, automatically suggest what kind of uh, you know graph will be suited best for the data so it has itself given me line chart with the show me option here you have options to choose all of these charts that are available according to the data according to the categories that you choose and i think line chart is best suited here so we won't change it now i would like to show you one other feature that we have also talked about in the previous video that is about the hierarchy that we have so if i if you can see this plus icon here if i just click on it it will automatically divide my data into quarter if i click plus on quarter it will automatically divide it into months and if i click on that it will automatically divide it into day as well now you can click on this minus sign to uh you know get back to year but our question was to quarterly see the quarterly target of the product so let us set it to the quarter all right now if you if you also click on this you'll have an option that if you want to see your data this in a discrete manner or in a continuous manner so if i click on continuous you can see how my data has changed so you can select it according to you if you want to see it in a discrete or uh continuous manner now we can select a nice color for this uh, what about what about what about maybe the steel color that we have i think this looks good or we can go with a little uh, version a uh, light, lighter version of green also i think this also looks good right 
now let us change the name I want to name this as quarterly target okay let us bold and click on apply let's see it I think it looks good and click on ok now here also uh, we are going to apply a filter so what I'm going to do is I want to see the quantity also so I'll just drag this quantity into my filter here and you can see uh, that what do you want to filter the quantity on let us choose the all the you'll be given all the values according to you know you want to see the sum average median count let us go with the sum only then we'll click on next now they are basically asking that how do you want to see the quantity do you want to see it in range of values do you want to you know have a particular value like at least this much quantity or at most this much quantity or special will make you you know use your own particular manually data that you want to insert in so here I want to see say between a range of values between say 10,000 to 30,000 so I'll just click on this I'll click on apply and I'll click this ok now I want to see the filter that I have so I click on show filter here and now if you see if I change if I drag the quantity you can see the changes that are being made to our data right also now uh, let us go back to our dashboard and I want to uh, drag my second sheet here alright I'm going to drag my second sheet here right here uh, I'll just click shift and it is okay I'm going to click this and then we are going to click shift and here we have our second sheet with us all right so we have our let us place the filter here I think let us go place the filter here and let us resize the graph that we have made for quarterly target so if you see we have our another chart with us now I would also like to talk about one other feature that we have that is highlighters so highlighters will basically help you see a particular category so for example I set a highlighter for subcategory I click on this right I click on this and uh, let me keep it here so if I if I select some particular you know subcategory so see that particular thing will be highlighted that is the use of highlighters that we have so if I if I'm selecting fastener so only fastener will be available only fastener will be available rest other has turned into a grayish format now I'll remove this so everything is available so this is how you can use your highlighter also now moving ahead uh, now I would I would want you to notice one thing that whenever I am using a filter here so it is only making changes to my this particular sheet because I have linked it only to this particular sheet and similarly for the quantity part also so what I am going to do is we are going to go to our sheet number one and if you see this category filter that we have click on the drop down and if you see we have this option for apply to worksheets so here you have various option that apply to all using related data source all using this data source selected worksheet or only this worksheet so we are going to choose all using this related data source now go back to the dashboard now if you see if I make changes here on this particular field it is also going to make changes to my this sheet as well so now my both my sheets are linked and whatever changes I make in here it will show the changes on this particular sheet as well. So this is how you can link filters to your various uh, your various sheets to make your data more interactive right. So if you see if, we, if I come back to my sheet number 2 this category 
filter which was not there earlier is now visible here right okay now we are going to move ahead and we are going to create one last uh, sheet that will have another data representation so i'm just going to click on new worksheet and here in this particular sheet i want to see profit of each product right i want to see how much profit was made by each product that we had let us let us try doing that so what i'm going to do is uh, in the columns block i am going to uh, i am going to drag my category yeah so in the columns i'm adding my category and in the rows i want to see the profit where do we have the profit we have the profit here oh yeah so here we have the profit with us now uh, now what we are going to do is for this i i want to choose a pie chart for this so this is what we have with us we can choose a bubble chart also i think this also looks particularly nice for this particular data that we have let us go with this one and you can choose uh, you can choose the colors you can edit colors you can choose from a range of colors that we have with us assign you can assign a particular palette also right so uh, let us rename this i'll 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 name the sheet as profits right apply and okay now uh, i want to apply a filter here category filter has already been applied now i want to apply another filter here that will uh, see that how much profit was made by each category but my filter is in in which particular region so i'm going to drag this region part into my filters right so here you have we have the option for three regions that is central north and south for now we are going to select all of them and i am going to click okay now we are going to uh, we are going to show this filter on our screen right so if you see if i if i change my if i select or deselect the regions that we have my graph changes my visual bubbles changes accordingly now one more thing if you remember that we need to do is link this to all the related data sources and now let's come back to our dashboard here and now i am going to drag my third sheet over here let us first just create some space for it i'm going to make this a little shorter right and i am going to drag this here we have a quantity and categories let us also resize this a bit let us resize this also a bit right hmm so i'm going to grab my third sheet here click on shift Okay, I'm I'm a little bad at this, I guess. Ah, oh, let me just. I am really sorry of what I think my mouse is really not helping me here. I'll just click on floating only and drag this. Yeah, better. So I'm going to put this here. Now see, we have our filter which is for categories. This is going to show me the colors. Now, if you want to remove this, you can remove this also because the colors are absolutely clear with, to us. And there we have our region also. So I'm going to I'm going to just drag this down here with me. Then we are going we are going let's place this here. Let's place this region tab here. let us place this category tab here and we have this particular field with us i think it's i think we can maybe um we can 
we can arrange this in a better way i guess so this this particular this is actually completely your creativity to be honest the way you want to represent your data it is completely upon you how you want your dashboard to be uh, visible and just try to make it more and more interactive and as simple as you can don't try to complicate it keep it simple keep it professional and you know keep it according to whatever is required so don't try to you know just make it look a bit complicated so that uh, it feels that you have done some work or something the the you know the better um the more simple your dashboard looks it means the more work you have done upon it because the the basic idea of creating dashboard is to make the work easier and not more complicated so yeah this is this is our dashboard that we have we have category sales we have profits we have quarterly targets and if you see if i try to you know make changes to our region can you see all these graphs moving because i have linked this to all related data source that we have so if i click on north so i have if i deselect central see how the data changes if i deselect south see how the data changes oh this is completely gone just come back to it so this is our interactive dashboard that product dashboard that we have created for our amazing mart and now you can just share it or publish it on tableau server that about what i mentioned in the first video and you can just share it with your colleagues you can see all the data so creating all these dashboards and stuff is basically a one time thing then next time when you are coming at it all you need to do is just you know apply some filters change according to the dates so here we haven't uh, you know used filter as a date here so next time in the next dashboard we are going to use filter as date so then we can you know just we can just select the dates that you want to see the data for and you don't need to keep on you know making it so this is it for the video i guess we have created the dashboard that we were looking for and i think this looks pretty good it looks pretty good to me and use your creativity try creating your own dashboard pick up any data set that you find over the internet and try creating for yourself the more you practice it the more elements you will find out while creating the dashboards now in this particular video also if you see we we didn't have any prior experience with creating a dashboard but side by side we learned creating a dashboard and we also learned various features that we can use for creating this dashboard all right so this is it for the video uh see you uh, see you in the upcoming video where we'll be creating one another dashboard we'll try to make it little more uh i won't say complicated but with more features and little more interesting and let us see what we have in there all right so that's it for the video all the very best for your preparations keep creating your dashboards keep learning and see you there